We've got a package, people. Ship to Midwest Aerospace Workshop. And uh, here it is. I think I might know what this is. I will save you the tedious unboxing. Here we have the extra long spindles that I decided not to make myself. It is in fact six inches long. 5 8 diameter, fine thread at the end. Um, we have also the shackle, whatever it is, the pin itself. Unfortunately, without grease fittings. There we are. Two nylock jam nuts, a nylon spacer, and some peculiar little plastic thingy that I just dropped. Um, and then, of course, the mirror image. We have... Uh, Got the trike up on blocks, or on a crate, rather, and um, I think now the thing to do is take the wheels off. So, uh, I haven't got a wrench large enough. We're going to use the uh, adjustable thingamajigger. Let's see, correct size. You know, quite hard doing this one-handed. I have great respect for all the YouTubers who manage to do good work and film. Okay, there we are, spacer and large nylock nut up on the bench. And off comes the wheel. Just uh, check that the bearings don't fall out. We shall set that aside. And there is our old thing. Shackle made by me, myself, and I. Pin with grease fitting and four and a half inch long fine thread axle stub. I will do likewise for the other side. Now we can compare the, um, the two spindles. The new one is shiny, it's also much longer. Um, and I believe that this thing is actually thinner wall, which is unfortunate, but uh, let's see size-wise how we do. Ah, lovely jubbly. So that will fit, more or less. Now look here, here is the new much heavier duty shackle. Uh, that's, that's quite thick, but you see there is some play in there. Let's see if we can find something to take that up in random washers. Get this and the other one that I found in there. I think that one shim will be sufficient. There is a little play in there, but as Dennis Thomas so rightly remarked, these are go-kart parts, not automotive parts. Um, it would probably be worthwhile to put some sort of a bronze bushing in there. Um, and of course now we have the issue. Do I swap out the old self-made sheet metal shackles for the new heavy duty shackles or do I just leave them? Well, I'm thinking that if these new ones fit, then for the time being we'll leave with them the shackles are reasonably heavy duty, so why don't we keep those for the time being? And um, as they wear out, perhaps we can install the new ones at some point. Most unfortunately, I do not have large wrenches. the old thingamajigger out and the old pin out. Let us test fit the new thing. May have to cut off this, what do you call it, uh, thing that goes to the tie rod. It, it, it's a, in a bit of an odd position, but we will see. We will see. And it's also sheet metal of a thin gauge. That is a lot of play. 
All right. Play be damned. We will test fit a wheel. Brake drum is on. Or brake um, thingy is on. And the wheel is on. Have a look at this, people of YouTube. Well, at least we've got some space. <sighs> yeah, th this this here is a problem, you see, because... So, really what needs to happen is a spacer needs to go in there. Well, there we are mocked up. Um, I put a spacer in between the brake assembly and the sort of root of the spindle. You can see that in there. This piece will have to be reworked because, of course, the tie rod knocks on the torsion beam and it just won't go that low. So, uh, the this being on the upper side seems to work better. It has better clearance with the brake assembly. And then, nylon spacer here, and uh, I'll use one of the proper jam nuts, but this is just a, an already used up nylock nut to hold it on for the time being. Um, still a tremendous amount of play. It's tremendous. It's tremendous. Uh, big play, beautiful play. Um, so I have to attend to that. What else? Got to sort out the other side, but um, I think that's about the size of it. So there we are. I think I get it now. This little plastic chingus is meant to be a bushing to take up that enormous amount of slop, but that is the most pathetic bushing I have ever seen. Just fell down. Okay, evidently the left wheel, or is it the right wheel, needs some sort of a spacer between the brake assembly and the uh, rest of the wheel because right now that nut is slightly loose not compressing it and the wheel spins freely independently of the brake assembly and it stops when i stop it but if i tighten this nut then you will see that i've got that clamped to my knees i cannot Ugh. whereas this one which is tight, admittedly just finger tight, but still, I can uh, hold this, this will move independently. There is some drag, of course, but that's as you would expect from, a, from a, an automotive or a motorcycle type brake.